examples what's happening over and again. Just think about the situation. Some, uh, some kid who played stickball with all his buddies in Nazareth running around town, all of a sudden he turns 30 and he claims to be God. You know, he didn't just like get uh, flown in in some plane and introduce himself. He lived among everyone. And what you see happening in the Gospels is the culture that lived at that time, Pharisees and Sadducees, believed they were right. They're right. Everything they did is right. Christ comes in and says, you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong about everything, right? We have a culture today, just, just look at that comparison where it's taking over America and they're telling us all these things that they're right about. And there's the ones that Jesus talks about, which are us, that he lives in us and that we are to be his ambassadors to speak the word of God and to, to tell them they're wrong. We aren't doing it. We're inside our churches. So we're going to talk about some basic things today. One of the big things is what is logic and how does logic work? All right. It's important because we can listen to all this and try to formulate some plan or look at history and how, how things work. But there's actually a method to understand truth that actually exists. And God's the one who gave it to us. And just because they don't use it doesn't mean we shouldn't be smart enough to know how to use it, right? We should be smart enough to, to deduce these things. We shouldn't see a big spike in young people in two years to be at 38% transgender in two years. What is that, like COVID? All of a sudden, it's some disease where everybody doesn't know if they're a man or a male or female. It has nothing to do with facts or reality. Okay, so... 